You ever hear somebody tell you an amazing story about how they almost got killed? I know it sounds like it's a skirt in Ireland, but that's how black people say it. <laughs> killed, you know, man, if I would've turned this way, man, I would've got killed. But something told me to go the other way. I didn't wanna be a Christian either for a long time, because some Christians are creepy. There's some creepy Christians. It's creepy everything. It's creepy Muslims, but some Christians is creepy. You ever had somebody, they talk about God and they voice change all of a sudden? Like, yo, man, how you doing? Oh, I'm cool. Can I tell you about the Lord? What is wrong with your voice? <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? Where somebody start praying in the middle of your conversation? You was just having a conversation. Yo, you see the game? That was a good game. Man, that game was good, God. We just thank you for being so holy, Lord. You're so awesome. I'm like, are we praying right now? You are creepy. Before I became a Christian, I, mean, used to, I would ask a girl out, and this, this one girl, I remember, she said to me, she said, I'm dating Jesus. I didn't know what that meant. Now I realize she was just saying she wanted to get closer to God before she started dating. Back then, I had no idea. I thought she was dating Jesus. <laughs> a month later, she called me up and said, you still want to go out? I'm like, did you break up with Jesus? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know for sure, but I think it was your fault. Whatever happened, <laughs> it was your Now you coming to me? You are confused. You better go back, I'm telling you. He forgives you for everything and you get free wine? You better call him. You better go call him. Because what if I'm the jealous type, right? I walk in the room, she praying. I'm like, who you talking to? Because you got different types of Christians. This is what I found out. You got Christians who are cool. You can hang around with them. Iron sharpen iron relationships, right? Then you got Christians who may have a little limp in their walk. They got the hat on, but the shoes don't match. <laughs> then you got Christians who, I'm just going to put this out there. You ever know somebody that was oversaved? <laughs> don't look at them. Don't look at them. <laughs> you can't even have a regular conversation with them. You're just like, hey, man, I'm thirsty. You thirsty? Thirsty for the Lord. Thirsty for the Lord. Hey, I lost my keys. Could you help me find my keys? You need the keys to the kingdom. I'm like, yeah, I didn't drive a kingdom. I drove a Toyota. I know as soon as I said oversaved, some of y'all had somebody in mind, but if you didn't, somebody had you in mind. You can be oversaved. You ain't know it. Now I gotta let you know that you're oversaved. Couple indicators to let you know you're oversaved. Just a couple indicators. Um, if you don't mess around with computers because it got a cursor. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you rebuke vacuum cleaners because it's a dirt devil. I got an aunt that's oversaved. She messes up television shows for us. We're watching Extreme Makeover Home Edition. At the beginning of the show, they always tell you the sad story about the people. My aunt gonna start praying for them. <laughs> Lord, help them get a new house, Lord. Just... <laughs> they gonna get a new house. They gonna get a new house. She's like, yes, you gotta believe. I'm like... Now you gotta have cable is what you gotta do. Mm -hmm.